Daily Guide says, stop exploiting young journalists. Dr. Kweku Roxy, my one-time lecturer and former rector of the GIJ, says so. Government puts uh, 12.2 billion uh, Ghana cities in pockets. Fight over Volta roads. Confusion coup plots. Cocoa Board approves software for farmers. And you know the NDC has been talking about uh, a table 21 that um, excluded the Volta region from a tall list of road projects earmarked for next year. Daily gra graphic. Fallout from Dubai crunch meeting. GPHA to handle 20% of cargo. MPs increase port tariffs. JUSA calls of strike. Guta Lord's commitment to good tax regime. Government to provide universal access to electricity by 2030. The find up. 50, 58 one district one factory operational. 10,983 direct. 49, 43,900 indirect jobs created. Ken Oforiata in his budget statement. Common platform to save 1.5 billion Ghana City's potential loss minister. And Okada killed 589 in 10 months this year. CBG to be converted into a full universal bank. Finance Minister of Orieta, the Catholic standard, shun false prophets, commercializing religion. Archbishop Name is the uh, president of the Catholic Bishops' Conference. And no ban on PTA dues. Government clarifies position that 80% of Christians are opportunists. Archbishop Sapon says so. Okay. Uh, the Ghanaian Times. Halts construction of 25,000 affordable housing units on CSIR lands. CSIR Union appeals to <coughs> government. Monitoring of telcos on common platform by Kelmi GVG. Government bags 470 million Ghana cities in taxes. Saves 1.1 million monthly over previous contracts. Kidnap cases declined in 2009. Interior Minister uh, wants us to know and certainly believe. My guests in the studio are uh, the Honorable Mutala Mohammed, uh, Comrade Mutala Mohammed, as he likes to be called. Uh, he is in, in the race for the Tamale Central constituency. He is also a former Deputy Trade Minister. And Kamal Dean Abdullahi uh, is a, a Deputy Communications Director of the NPP. Gentlemen, welcome. Assalam. Good morning. How's everybody doing? You don't like the Honorable. So if you go to Parliament, how would you cope? <laughs> Well, I guess even when I was in Parliament, I made statements on the floor that I didn't want to be addressed as honourable. I prefer being addressed as comrade because the conduct of certain so-called honourable members are absolutely dishonourable. So I really don't think that I needed to be addressed as such. So you can give it to okay, my Kamal, honourable, so Kamal, my honourable Kamal, brother. Kamal is an honourable Kamal. Kamal honourable, yes. honourable Kamal did not it, lie. It is, it is only an honoured person who is honoured Okay, mm. that accepts the honor. So take it, okay, Mr. Honor. So I will continue <laughs> to be honored, yeah, and I will continue to accept the good gesture. You take it, and I will take it. Mm. Okay, um, comrade, no problem. You can choose to call yourself whatever, but that's what you have chosen for yeah. yourself. <laughs> okay, mm. let's start uh, with the issue of the ambulances. <coughs> I'm sure you heard the response that the the Minister for Health is giving. Uh, if, unless if, you've, if you haven't, um, we'll toss it anyway. So last week, um, I, we asked a question here, and I said that unless, of course, the ambulances are decorations, they should be moved immediately from the forecourt of the State House and put to good use. Um, the minority side in Parliament, uh, the Health Committee, have been asking questions about it because I told them to ask questions. Yesterday, I was fortunate to have met the Minister for Health at a program at the airport, the Obis Flying Eye Hospital, uh, the world's first fully accredited teaching hospital on a plane. And he was there. So I made a request to him while I was emceeing the program. And I said, Mr. Minister, why are the ambulances sitting there? Can we distribute it? His answer was that this is part of the president's uh, one million one constituency thing. And he's, oh, this bent, is bad. This is, this and he's bent on, I'm, say, I'm repeating what the man mm -hmm. says. So. And he's bent on, the president is bent on fulfilling his promise. Mm. And that 307 ambulances have been ordered. So far, 98 are in. They're waiting for the next part to come so they can start the distribution. However, in cases of emergencies, the ambulances, some ambulances will be released. But there will also be a ceremony to outdoor them. So we should hold on, take our time, hesitate a bit. Those were his words and that it will be because as of now, if they want to distribute, he will know where to start first. 
Then how are Kumsi, who is the minister in charge of special initiatives, and at whose purview the one million one constituency falls, says we may have to wait until 2020. The comment on the street is that this logic is hard to follow. Does it come to you the same way? <laughs> Good morning to you once again. Good morning to viewers. Um, and of course, I would like to commend the President of the Republic of Ghana mm. and his team for delivering on their promises and for making sure that indeed Ghanaians are not shortchanged with, if you like, ineptness. They're making sure that competence is at its peak. They work on what they have said and they're delivering on what indeed they promise. To proceed, let's remember on the 17th of December, this hypocritical stance by people who came out to tell us that there should be full-scale partisanship and our elections or in the election of MMDAs, today changing their stand to say no. Remember, it's yes, Ghanaians. We are bringing democracy to you. We have gone for it. Multi-party democracy on, is yours. And let's my question. I'm only. Uh, oh no, I, I think... not answering my question. My question oh. is is about ambulances. I'm a good citizen now of this country. Talking, we are, we I, all I are. And I fact, love multi-party democracy. Fact, this matter and I love talking about. We discussed it extensively. Oh, last we did week. that yesterday. And we spoke no oh. last week. I'm, and we spoke about the yes. So my stand is that I'm a Ghanaian and I'm going for yes. Just like IDEC, just like other civil society organizations are going for, yes, let us get our people elected, MMDAs. Let's o move on. On party now political on, lines. Yes. Okay. Why? John Mahama said I didn't say it. On the 31st of August, 2016, he so, was on a roundtable discussion and said that it was imperative mm -hmm. that we had a full-scale partisanship in election answer, in our, of, answer of our my, MMDAs. Answer my question. So, well, so let me... Let me I, 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 I can prove it to for, you. For those who may have lost... So so for those who may have lost... Let me move on to so the, the ambulances. So the, the import of my question is that... Yeah. The ambulances. Um, yes, the ambulances. I'm not coming. We, we asked the question. Oh. The ambulances are here. Minorities made a statement. Yes. The minister says, hold on. And Thank in you. the meantime, people are dying. You see... Johnny. Does this logic of holding on to get a full compliment come to you? Johnny, right? don't be in a hurry. You see... That is why I'm full of vim and strength. And of course, full of, if you like, hope, okay, for this government and for Ghanaian people. You know why? Not too long ago, I was the one day they, they chewed that I had gone to sit on TV to say that government had procured ambulances. Mm. And that it was a lie. NDC went all over on some of their programs. I was chewed and I was cited by Amalba and Co. for lying to Ghanaians. Today, the same people who said I lied come to say, hey, distribute the ambulances. I'm telling you who NDC is. Ghanaians, watch us and watch them. <laughs> These are people who tell you that it's not possible. We don't have it. Kamal came to lie. The government had procured ambulances. And the NPP is lying. The government had procured ambulances. We were on social media lying to people. The next moment, they have the gut audacity to forget of what they said and now go to stand. Oh, the ambulances have come. Go and distribute them. Are they wrong in asking for oh, you no, to Oh, no, they're not wrong. They are just doing our work for us. Good job. They are telling Ghanaians the good job Nana, Nana Adudan Kokufado has done. They are telling Ghanaians that he promised to buy ambulances. He has bought them. They are telling Ghanaians that he should go and distribute them so Ghanaians will use it. But I'm telling the you how hypocritical wait. they are. The minister says we should wait for the full complaint. Now, 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 it doesn't matter. We are going to bring it up. As I speak to you, there's some on the high seas coming. As I speak to you, there's still some at the base in Turkey to take off. We promised every single district. And we have even gone beyond the districts. We have 254 districts. We have procured over 300 ambulances. Mm. That is... The mark of good governance. A man who speaks and acts on his words. Not somebody who comes to tell that I'll build 10 training colleges in his own manifesto. The next moment he doesn't have 10, 10 training colleges to show. Not someone who tells you in his manifesto, page 19, go and look at it. 
that they have built hospital in Wasampoho. Mm. His own manifesto telling you, you go to Wasampoho and there's no hospital there. And he has written in his manifesto. They, they, that is NDC the, for you. The person who and, needs immediate help with an ambulance this morning will not be interested in oh no. Wasampoho. I am saying the man lied. In 21. Oh no, right. Credibility is very important no, in politics. No, so the, is it so how, how does that translate into and that's, the call to move the ambulances from the four corners of the state? Johnny, it's so simple. The man came to you and tell you, look, this is what I have done. These are my achievements. This is what I'm going to do. Elect me. Vote for me. Then the mm. person, of course, trusts in what you have said and votes for you. Okay? So it means that the page 19 of the NDC manifesto, who spoke about a hospital in Wasam Pohor, there about in Western region, mm. which was non-existent, was completely a deceit mm. chained out there to get votes when at the end of the day it wasn't so but i'm saying with the mpp with nana adodan kwakufado the man who indeed promised and he's delivering on his promise so mm. far mm -hmm. not less than 75 percent of our promises in our manifesto has actually been mm. Come on, Chief. Come on. I, 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 I understand that you want to mm. say that you promised and we've done it. done it. Yes. Is it? Yeah. But put yourself, and God forbid, mm. in a critical health condition now. Yeah. Where you need to be taken to the hospital mm. in an ambulance, mm. and there's no ambulance because the ambulances are parked at the yeah. forecourt of the parliament, mm. and there's a taxi to take you mm. on a rough road. Mm. Would you be happy? Uh, it, 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 that is why, in the first place, we had that good intent. And told Ghanaians we're going to procure no, them. So we'll you, have, you have told no, me. I said that is why in the first place. So distribute that is the why, ambulances I'm while we're waiting. Question. Please, I'm answering your question. Johnny, listen to no, me. No, you are, go, you are going back to tell you me. You're asking whether you put No, I'm not going. And I'm saying, my question to you, Kamal, and, and I think that you have you have done it, a lot I'm of... Not, slow down, slow down, slow down. I think that you have told me the concept behind it. You have told me NDC lied. You have told me credibility. My specific question to you, and so we move on, I beg you. I'm asking you, the minister says we should wait. Is it your opinion too that we must wait to get what is on the high seas before we start distributing? You see, Johnny, you might have forgotten what you said earlier on as well, in addition to what the minister said. Mm -hmm. You did say that times of this critical things that you're talking about, there's room created to see how such could be kept. Mm -hmm. You said it, that the minister said that should there be, mm -hmm. they will find a way of ensuring. That some of these ambulances. So, if an emergency occurs in Akachi, no, do we do we now call Accra to bring the ambulance from Parliament House to go there, and deal um, with it? I am pretty sure that mm -hmm. once the minister inculcated that in his response, there will be modalities and measures put in place to ensure that we avert such situations. How? Of of or why? You spoke to the minister, and I'm telling that I am pretty sure that once the minister inculcated that and brought that segment. That part of let us allay the fears of people. Should there even be an emergency, we'll find a way of I'm giving you out. a classic Again, example remember, remember, remember. an emergency happening I, in Akachi yeah. in the Volta region yes. where they don't have an ambulance. Go, the good people of Akachi, if you're watching this morning, where, the, good, the good news is that you're going to have an ambulance. Where, where they don't, so so, so I'm saying like this morning, you. if an emergency breaks in Akachi mm. and they don't have an ambulance and they need in an emergency the minister has told they will now move it from Parliament House I am repeating myself for you to hear me loud and clear. The minister has told you that there are measures put in place to ensure that wherever you have this problem, irrespective of the place, whatever, the Minister of Health is ready to ensure that no one is shortchanged. And that, look, at the end of the day, we'll mm. find a way of getting putting modalities in place for the, per for the person who is suffering from such critical mm. ailment or whatever it is to be, as it were, catered for. Mm. Let's have hope in the government. Let's have hope in people who promise and deliver. Let's have hope in people who tell you, look, Ghana indeed can do better and we can go beyond even aid to do whatever and of course support them to do it we don't come to sit down and do rhetorics we mm. tell you we have spoken and we have acted on what we have said and indeed the good news once again and i'm saying it the doubting thomases the naysayers who say we can never produce a single ambulance and that we should show it right today those ambulances the same people are telling us that go out there and distribute them they are forgotten that they, we said, they said we could not even get it First of all, the same thing applied to free SHS. We can't do it. Mm. It has happened. The same thing applied to fiscal policy. We can't do it. It has happened. The same thing applied to capping our deficit. We can't do it. It has happened. <laughs> These people sit here and they have nothing to show. Come on. And yet they say they are on alternative. So my, That's my, scary. I'm, I'm happy you mentioned... The alternative uh, is I'm very I'm scary. I'm happy you mentioned free SHS. Uh -huh. And I will also tie in the new curriculum no problem. for basic schools. Mm. Now, in the matter of free SHS, yeah. the government says we cannot wait 
to have the full complement of classrooms, mm. of textbooks, yeah. of dormitories, or what have you, before we start, because yeah. education yeah. is key. Exactly. In the matter of the uh, primary schools, we said we won't wait for the textbooks. Mm -hmm. We will let the teachers use the starter packs. And as we speak, the textbooks are not in after two months, mm -hmm. which is why we will not have examination of term exams at the basic level, because really there's no standard to measure them. Mm. So if that is the logic of the government, that, look, if it's so crucial to the people, we can't wait to have it all to begin. Why do we have to wait to have it all in the matter of ambulance and health provision mm -hmm. before we distribute? I want to understand. <laughs> you see, we didn't say we're waiting to have it all before we distribute. What we said was that we had promised over three... The minister told me they were waiting listen, for it. Yes, and I, I, even myself, I made a comment mm. here. I mm. said, as a, to the best of my knowledge, we still have some ambulances on the high seas coming. Mm. We have some at the port and we have some at the base. And I'm saying that we need to have all this here. One or two or three districts get 98. We have 98 sitting there. Then 98 districts get. Other districts, the anxiety is going to create. Mm. Maybe Akachi that you have given an example has not gotten. And you go like, oh, we have given to this district. They've not even given to Akachi. You know how sometimes we can talk. Shouldn't you have data to tell you the which, which the district needs it urgently and oh. which doesn't in an in a proper emergency what? response what? Is setting? That, is that supposed to be a process or an event? I said, shouldn't it, you it's have... It's data collation. I'm saying collating such data is mm. supposed to be a process or an event. It's supposed to be a process. So process, the process is that we have uh -huh. 254 districts. You see, you see. No, you no, see. come on. Yeah. So you have 254 uh -huh. districts. Uh -huh. You have procured 307. Certainly, there should have been data that guided you to procure more than you needed. Correct? Uh, uh, yeah, of course. Okay. And, and, so and, what data? What is well, the data? Well, you have all sitting there. So what is the data? So I'm saying that. I'm saying that. I'm saying that. So you have everything sitting there. You, you and I don't know the, what the data is now. Of course. The, the health, you see, governance is a complex business. Governance is not just like because you are the president, you are sitting at the um, what's it, um, Jubilee House. Therefore, every facet of the economy, every facet of the state, every area, you know whatever is going on in, in, uh, uh, at a go. It's not like that. That's why you have ministers, you have people you have delegated to work, you have also, even within and under the ministries, we have people who are supposed to be technocrats, mm. okay, who are there merit or, with, or merits to supposed to help you work. So when you ask me of data, obviously, as a good journalist, as a great person in media house, mm. man, some of these things, you move to the technocrat there. You move to the one down there. I, I was expecting you because you were defending. Oh, no, you, are you are defending this but, to tell me what well, data. Are, I am defending what. So, so you I don't know what data informs the purchase of, of three hundred and seven dollars. I am ambulances. telling you of a promise that we have made, mm. of a policy that we have put in place, and I am telling you that we have actually not reneged on that, and we have delivered, and we are giving it to Ghanaians, and we want Ghanaians to see the good work so, of the So state. the weight is That's okay. That's what I'm telling you. The weight is okay. It's not about weight. It's okay. It's about the fact that we are getting more and it's about the fact that we are going to give make sure every district will have an ambulance okay that's the, the weight is, is the weight is okay the minister so i'm surprised uh, they even has, have the guy to has, talk about it they said they defend, we can't uh, do it um but, but i'll huh? step in I'm for surprised. me now what are your thoughts the minister the says is. Say wait yeah, let's get it good for you. and start the hmm. distribution kamal says you say it was not possible now, now they have done it and you have the guts to come and say distribute it what well, do you say? Let me say Can I allow him to speak? Let me, say, oh. come, let me say good morning to your cherished viewers. And I was timing Kamal. He spoke for almost 15 minutes. So I you timed me? Yes. Oh. So I would urge you to just allow me. And throughout, as a, as a yes, and throughout the 15 minutes, I never... He will allow you anyway, so I don't worry. I never interjected even once. Johnny so will allow him, you anyway. I expect him to respect the viewing public so that he listens to I'm saying he will me. allow you. You come have on. no problem. You see, ahead. when I'm even admonishing him, so please, I listen to you. Respect. Come on, come on, he if kept you quiet have, for you. No respect, I think you should keep if quiet. If you have no you. respect for myself and you are listening to the, the viewing public. So allow me, I listen don't to teach you. me against viewers. Uh, I think that it's important before I start, we are celebrating Damba Festival. Oh, okay. Wow. And no, I no, urge no. everybody to participate in it. Certainly, inshallah, I will be participating. I'm not interjecting, but I share in that sentiment. I beg you. Okay. I, mean, I mean, we all come from that. Leave your sentiment. I, mean, I share in that sentiment. Well, oh. I'm not interjecting. Is, is, oh, is I'm saying that sentiment. In Kambu, in Kambu oh, Festival. When it comes I'm appreciating the oh, comment oh, you have oh, made. Please, I'm not saying should. I'm saying when it comes to your turn, I don't want to. In Kambu and in Koswa, come on. I think that I think that it's important that you know, come on, you you were embarrassingly exposed. Instead of you being quiet, you are talking about it. I was with you on GH1 TV, and you emphatically stated the ambulances were in. I you stated it. I did not hear. Oh, please. Come on, allow, allow. You emphatically stated the ambulances were in. And I remember, 
whether Nanaba or Sewa, the host of the pro, hostess of the program at the time, I'd say, yes, they are in. Only for the Minister of Health to be interviewed. And the minister said that they hadn't procured the ambulances yet. You lied outright. Instead yeah. of you being quiet, you are talking about it. People were trodding you on social media because you, 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 you told a lie. And Kamal, to be very honest, you should know as a Muslim that avoid things that are untruthful. So you should have been quiet. <laughs> we are not See, talking about police. Telling please. I'm just telling that. you. I'm just telling you that you <laughs> peddled a falsehood on your The minister in charge, you could not have known the procurement of the ambulances than the minister. And the minister said they were in the processes of the procurement and that they haven't even let's, bought let's the make progress. So, so you should have been quiet and humble enough not to talk about it. Yet he wanted to blame the NDC for exposing your palpable lies. Please don't even go there again. And I urge you not to talk about it anywhere because the embarrassment will be uncontrollable. I may pardon and, and forgive you as a brother and I wouldn't want to stretch it. And I can realize that you are salvaging him by saying that we shouldn't proceed on it because it would have been a fantastic uh, embarrassment. Why are you manufacturing my, my consent? Brother, I, I am why just, are you I'm manufacturing just deducing, my consent? Don't manufacture just my consent. Deducing, I'm just deducing. When you said that it is part or government stated it is part of the one million one 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 constituency. Kamal said no, it is the one million one constituency. The people of Ghana. The ambulances are the one million one constituency they promised. Please. I wrote please, I wrote please. I wrote exactly of it. please. I wrote exactly come on, I wrote exactly I wrote exactly oh. what you said. I was I was that writing. Is, look, come on, can I finish? Oh, million, you should tell him. That's what I said. I listen to you. Okay, go ahead. Come on, I don't want us to degenerate <laughs> this program. It, we, I mean, it, it is well, not good ahead. for the That's fine. I have my time to You said it is part. This is what Kamal said. This is what it is. No, he said it is not. It is. It is not part. It is the one million. No, one, one. Well, if you want to revise your own statement, suddenly you've forgotten the very <laughs> words you use. Okay. Now, we were promised one, one, one million, one consensus each year. Right. Now he's talking about people who lie. <laughs> what is more a lie than a president who promised that he was going to give each constituency one million every single year, yet he hasn't delivered a scintilla. He hasn't delivered a scintilla, and you are talking about lies. What is more lies than a president who came and said that they had indeed identified ghost names mm. and removed the names only for the Minister of Finance to come and apologize let's, for the people Let's talk about ambulances. <laughs> I will talk about the ambulances. About I will talk about the, the I will talk about them. You see, it is shocking that you have a government communicator who sits here. People are dying because they do not have ambulances. People are losing their lives. Women are becoming mm. widows. Mm. Children are becoming orphans. You know, people who depend on others for their livelihood mm. are now struggling because the people for whom they depended for their livelihood have lost their lives mm. because they could not have ambulances to move them from, from their places to where they needed to get health delivery. You have a government communicator who sits here mm. and he says mm. that, yes, we still deliver. What he's telling you is that you promised to deliver one million, one constituency. Have you delivered all? So what is wrong? If you are a competent government, if you brought those ambulances, at least you would have started the distribution. It simply doesn't make sense. The minister says it simply, he we, said we, will we, know, we will not know uh, exactly where to who to give first, so we should hesitate. We must a as bit. well privatize this government. He How doesn't do even know a minister who doesn't even know which district hospital or health center needs the ambulances the most. The he said. doesn't even... He said yes, he said that. Is that what the minister said? He said... Can no, I let's, let's be fair to the minister. What, 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 you said the minister said they don't know which you. district needs the first. Kamal, I'm not no, going to allow so. you... Hold, hold on. Look, I'm so, going to correct Hold on. So, so, I'm not going to allow what? you to distract me. No, no, because... Correct what? I want to be sure that he doesn't know which district needs the first. Come on, wait. So, please play the play the full the you full see, VT you are, you are going to from yesterday, no, so that no, we can hear I'm what the minister said. I'm asking for clarity. Come on, come on, come on. I have just advised you. Come on, no, come on. I have just advised you, said, oh, just advised you to be humble. Come on, Dean Abdullah. You see, well, don't embarrass Allah, him. I beg you. No, embarrass no. you because you've been embarrassed and you've been clarity. What clarity? You said he didn't. You said he didn't say that. You said he didn't say that. And I'm asking whether or not that's actually what he said. No, no. You said he didn't say that. No. Listen, you said listen, he didn't listen. say that. He's telling you this way. No, no, he has too much. I am much. saying. I am Kamal asking has for too clarity. Much. One will say the other one will say that. No, you said why, why are you doing this? The man mentioned someone's name who is not here. Kamal, and I'm going to be fair to him. Let's be charitable to him. Look, let's let me be making he my said. point. It's while they are searching for the video to embarrass my brother. I want to save you. You want to be exposed <laughs> more. Look, so I'm saying that. I'm saying that. You have the minister when a journalist asks him. 
the ambulances and he said no we are still waiting to i asked him that question yesterday uh, and then we, we, that we should just assume that mm. there are no ambulances he, he, did, he didn't say we should assume well he said that yes he says that um if if we scramble for it it yeah. will be it will be as if we have we have not had food in a long time we suddenly get food Johnny, we are scrambling Johnny, for let me it. Tell which you. is why i want Cyril to play Johnny, the full thing you, this, about two minutes see, the npp and the needless 122 oh, plus, the, truth. <laughs> the needless 122 or 25 appointees of this government who have indeed demonstrated that they are not only insensitive, but they are incompetent. Now, these people are telling us, the Minister of Health, that he doesn't know the hospitals or clinics or district hospitals that need the ambulances the most. You have two kids. One is very hungry. The other one has gotten something to eat. But they all need more food. Then you say that, no, we cannot even have, I have two slices of, one slice, one bread, one loaf of bread. I can't give the one loaf of bread, bread to one. I want to get so that I can give to the two. So the other one can die. That is what this government is telling the people of this country. That, oh no, we cannot is, do is that. Is it we as want simple to get as it sounds? That is what it means. I am saying that you have, even here at TV Karek, that is why I've used the analogy of a parent and the kids. That you should know the state of the hospitals and district hospitals across the country. You should know. And you should know which district hospital needs it the most. And in any case, even if you do not know, mm. what benefit is it to us that you kept them if you can distribute them? Even if some district hospitals cannot get, but you distribute them. But in any case, the ambulance is equal to $1 million. That is what Kamal and the MPP <laughs> well, are telling us. Well, please, yesterday, please. Yesterday, well, the minister, when, yesterday the minister said there would be a ceremony to our door <laughs> so that we we get to see the... Johnny, this the, morning, the, on the, my way the to the million. Place. But the minority Johnny, in Parliament has Johnny, given us uh, uh, three on, days Johnny, ultimatum. on my way to this program, Upper West, uh, sorry, Upper East Regional, no, Upper West Regional Hospital, mm -hmm which was done by President Mahama, which you considered to be incompetent, built the hospital. You came in. The hospital was started and finished under President Mahama. Mm. You came in. It took you three years to commission the hospital. Three years. And after commissioning the hospital, the, the hospital is not... Three years will mean they commissioned it this year? I'm saying that it took them three years to commission the hospital. Three years from the hospital, which period to what period? The hospital had been done and completed in 2016. Okay. The NDC lost power. You came in, you refused to commission the hospital because you were grossly incompetent. Even when you gathered some confidence to commission that hospital, it is not operational. And I listened to the regional minister. You know why he said? Mm. That they are still having some administrative challenges. And you know why he described as administrative challenges? No. That they have advertised for a hospital, a director for that hospital. Like seriously? So look, when we talk about incompetence, it would be a monotonous to talk about incompetence by this government. They are not only incompetent, they are absolutely insensitive. Absolutely really? insensitive. I am saying that you they, couldn't... They have, they have procured Absolutely ambulances. insensitive. You see, we are all aware <laughs> when the issue like of the ambulances came. <laughs> The ambulances had nothing to do with your, <laughs> with your wasted promise of one... You, one. you left please. us 51 ambulances. I'm coming. They're I'm coming. adding 307. Oh, I'm coming. Oh, I'm coming. I'm saying that. We are not a bunch of idiots. The end President Nanado <laughs> and his needless... That, appointment. Think, think, that think, is what I, you think. I think, I think that, that you should withdraw that. They think we are a no, bunch of idiots. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Come on, slow down. Allow me to do what my work. What is wrong with that? What is wrong with that? Mutal, I think that you should withdraw that. Withdraw which word? Withdraw idiots. That I say that someone thinks we are idiots. Please withdraw it. Don't repeat that. I say we are not a bunch of Mutala, idiots in this country. Please withdraw what's wrong those with words. That? No, please tell me what's wrong with withdraw that. Withdraw those what's words. What's wrong with that? I think that you are insulting the sensibilities of my viewers. Please withdraw. Who have I, who sensibility please have I insulted? Please withdraw them. Johnny, I am Let's sure. Let's have a conversation, please. Johnny, I am saying that the government please. thinks. Hold on. I'm speaking English. I'm not speaking Latin. Mm. I'm saying that the government thinks we are a bunch of idiots. We are not. And you tell me I should withdraw. That's withdraw serious. what? That's withdraw serious. what? Withdraw. Am I speaking Latin? If I say that you think I am this, why should I withdraw that? <laughs> why should I? I say they think we are, but we are not. And you tell me I'm insulting the sensibility you of your viewers. Too harsh that is what this government thinks. And let me explain why I, I think they think that we are a bunch of idiots in this country. Mm. But we are not. We are more intelligent than the, the, the government and their needless appointees. And I'll tell you the reason. Why? In this country, the issue of the procurement of the ambulances came 
when the, the national chairman of the party, mm -hmm. that was the first time, when the national chairman of the party promised he mm -hmm. was given each constituency a vehicle. A bus. A bus. Right. The issue came, and people wondered why we didn't even have ambulances in this country. Yet the national chairman of a political party had the, the, the luxury and the money to procure buses for the MPP. Please, made this please, now, that is not true. Which manifesto? Show me the page. Show me the page. So I'm saying that when that issue came up, then government then said that they were procuring ambulances. Show me. That's not true. So if I say that they think we are a bunch of idiots, mm. what do you think? In fact, they think we are fools in this country, but we are not. So I'm saying that, uh, 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 Johnny, this government should not underestimate the intelligence of the people of this country. Now you have procured ambulances. People are saying release them, and you say, no, we have to. When the NDC procured the 51 or 53 mm. ambulances, and we indicated that we were still fixing the, 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 the items mm. needed mm. to make it an ambulance, Ignorantly and unintelligently, they came and said that we imported, you know, buses or if you like, trotro. Mm -hmm. Why? The company that produces the buses or the, the vehicles are not the same companies. That will do the fitting. That will do. Today, if you listen to the minister himself, he's saying that they still need to put certain things in the ambulances that they have procured. Between the NDC and this super incompetent, super corrupt government, which is more sensitive, and then he we, he went into that we made a promise rap, rap that we're going me. that we made a promise that we're going to have district assemblies elected, uh, we're going to vote and allow that's, district that's a assemblies. Matter. No, he raised that issue, and you allowed him. Let me expose the lies. You have a president who goes about telling people that's a different. You have matter. a president who goes about telling people that I am giving up my mandate, the power to appoint DCs to you. So if you vote yes. You are taking that power from me. Oh. You have his nephew well, in the press said. Please, He said that, the president. He's been saying it. You have his nephew, Gabi Ochidaku, go and check his Facebook page. He had indicated that he disagreed with the president to give up the power to appoint these things to the people. When he knows, and the president knew in the heart of his life, that they were lying. That the voting of no or yes has got nothing to do with the powers of electing DC. That's too What it to means, me. what is fraudulent. Because if you have a president who is a lawyer of standing, and you have his nephew who is also a lawyer, they knew they were lying. Now how can you go about lying to people that if you vote yes, it means that you are taking the power from me to appoint DCs. That amendment has got nothing to do with the elections of DCs. Mm. It has to do with empowering political parties to contest, to contest elections on the basis of political yeah. parties. Okay. The NDC Sorry, position. Okay. The NDC position. He, you can't determine the time. Well, you said your no, time. No, but I, I said well, your time was. The was NDC was position has been so. Your, he your, comes your, about. Your, you see, come your, on. Let me be very clear. Let me be very clear. Let me be very clear. He has been interjected. Oh my God! It's not right, Johnny. What it's is, not what right. Else does this man want? When he was speaking, I deliberately remained silent. There were lots of things because he was chained at absolute fabrications. But I allowed him to finish okay. because the more he Thank spoke, you. the more he exposed himself. So I'm saying that when we talk about delivery, mm. you promise you are going to give us 350 SHS. Okay. Have you been Thank able you. to deliver? Thank you. Thank you. Well. Thank you very much. Uh, well, come on. If I give you, if I give you a second take, he will take a second take. Oh, so let's oh, agree so around this table. This, I'm not, I have no so response come out, come out. <laughs> to it. I, I want us to agree. No, slow down. I want us to agree. If I give you a second take, mm -hmm. he gets a second take. I don't mind. Okay. I don't mind. I don't let's, mind. let's take two minutes each. I'm happy when you reminded him of the fact that we're having a discussion. Let's take a two minutes each. It's so 43 it's now. It's a discourse. So I'm 47, we're, we're ending. <laughs> and I'm, 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 I'm happy Ghanaians who are watching us saw the uh, i mean i've seen the way we actually compose ourselves and the kind of words we use on set you see johnny johnny oh my. what is material in this matter is that a government before even coming into power mm. had cause to promise that look we will make sure that every mm. single constituency in this country if you like mm. constituency or whatever district you want to call it would have an ambulance that was a big promise we made and i'm saying it's material mm -hmm. to reiterate that such a position has actually been achieved mm -hmm. we have procured the ambulances we are pushed down the ambulances and we are bringing them in to make sure every constituency is catered for. I, I thought it was Two. a campaign promise of the Two. party chairman uh, freddie blay uh, oh. in the run-up to uh, mm -hmm. the contest with mr oh, Steve no, team and the rest no, he makes that comment i mean it's sad it's very sad honestly you can go get our manifesto and check. Page. Don't go check it. He's asking I mean, for, it's not, it's for not, the I don't have it off head, but I'm telling you it's there. And the health.
Okay. Check what we wrote. Okay. So if he says, and of course, and we, we had the election, mm. then of course had our internal election right. two years after the elections. So it could not have been true. Mm. It's a palpable lie. <laughs> See, and I, want, I just want my brother to understand that sometimes when we're talking to people, of course, they are much more but but if if it, if it was in your if it was no, in me, your me, hold me, on hold me, on me. let me interrogate this yeah. if it was in your manifesto mm. uh why was it presented as though it was uh, chairman freddie blaze own idea and thinking and his benevolence Who to the party it? i mean in the run in the up to the in the run up to no not ambulances the okay. buses you're asking the bus where you said ambulances. well he's I'll, alleging <coughs> he's alleging I'm, I'm saying that throw that away why should it we belongs to the dustbin. He's, you see, these are things that he has manufactured himself. He says, that one say. in any he case, says, he in says, any he case. says that, he it. says that, he says that yes. Chairman Freddie Blay promised to buy buses yeah. for every constituency in this country. Yes. That was the promise. And not. then, and then the people of Ghana started complaining that we don't have ambulances. The chairman has money enough to procure buses. So then it was changed from buses oh. to ambulances. And I'm saying is that, is that, that correct? is a total fabrication. I'm repeating myself. Okay. Of what he thinks is right. It's not true. I'm saying Ghanaians should treat it with disdain. Okay. Throw it away. The point is that in any case, chairman for the place, that's what we, I don't want us to go there. Mm. I wanted to look at, don't take the shine. Okay from the government mm. the government of the day like <coughs> I, I keep on saying will promise and deliver to the people of ghana that constituency that village where there's no ambulance now have hope that okay. we're going to have our ambulances there okay. as it were now he sits here and makes so many comments 30 seconds and says so many things that look i shouldn't embarrass myself i had said the ambulances were in mm. and of course they were not in when the minister said they were being procured i said we were procuring ambulances <laughs> That is immaterial. That Put said. it aside. What <laughs> is important <laughs> now is that the NDC says we can't do this. The next moment we do it. They the say the we can't say do that. The next it. moment we do this. The people we say will, distribute we it. Will, look, we will make sure every single constituency in this country, every single district in this country is catered for. We are not like them. Who would go and get a carpenter, a wayside carpenter, mm. okay? Get some one or two hour boards, get a bed, um, a bench, and call it a bed for a hospital in the rural area. Okay. We are not like them who would go and give Abu Buda. Do you know Abu Buda? Mm. Eh? This tricycle. tricycle. NDC will go <coughs> and get a tricycle, buy a 5,000 worth of tricycle or 6,000, and then get a tent on it and take it to a village and tell you this is an ambulance we have to Okay. That is NDC. We Thank are not you. like them. Thank you very we much. We will make sure uh, uh, that Mutala, whatever take, take we your, promise Ghanaians, we no, no, no. deliver take your, on Take your two minutes. On. Well, I think that my brother, honestly, today, today I think that you should serve as a learning for you. I just went through the NPP's manifesto mm. for 2016 on health. There is nothing like what he stated. Well, Once again, this is a high level issue. You don't have oh. that. This is a high level issue. You see, he is manifesto is a Come on, come on. I am saying we have oh. made a promise. Come on, and come on. Come on. Allow, come allow him to take his two minutes. He, said as well. he kept quiet he said, for you. When we talk of highlights, come on, he kept quiet for you. When we talk of highlights, we are talking of the most salient, but the important point that you, I am shocked that the procurement of ambulances for each district, and in fact, which is considered as one, one, one district, one million dollars, mm -hmm. was not captured in their manifesto on the on, on health sector. He said is is highlight. You see, you see, that is you one. Allow, allow, come allow on, him. Come allow on, him see, to come take on, his time, please. One thing. One thing. Allow one, him. One, who doesn't? You are exposing yourself the more. Allow, allow, allow him to please, take please, his please. time. So, so listen. He is quiet for you. I, then you I keep interrupting. You. <laughs> you see, when, when I made the statement and then he said, oh, this is what we all... You see, you have just once again lied. We live in an area of... In, a, in times of technology. I can easily Google. I just Google. There is nothing like that. And when I said they think we are a bunch of idiots, we are having a problem. Once again, he's still thinking we are a bunch of idiots. That is how the president and all his needless appointees think. They think they can peddle falsehood and Ghanaians will just swallow. In this country, in this country, 30 seconds said, more. In this, in this country, mm. the NDC has something that you have never been able to do. Which is? Within the period which? of eight years, I'm not even talking of four, we borrowed 87 billion, which we added to our debt stock. We have Bridge Hospital to show, we have Legon Hospital to show, we have the War Hospital, which you have failed you succeeded in, in using three years to to commission you can't even have it running we have a lot of activities that we executed we have the airport mm -hmm. you know the the castle interchange we have every other places health education mm -hmm. you can't even match us we have those ones you have borrowed 90 billion and when you ask them free shs so you realize that today 
every single statement Kamal made on this program, free SHS comes in. You okay. see, it's like that. Your, 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 your time is up. Your time is up. Can I, can your, I just your, run, John, your time is up. Seconds, I beg you. No, no, but you've had your 30 seconds already. It's like the Agama Lizard syndrome. You've had your 30 seconds. A student who prepared, a student who prepared to write biology, Okay. He, he studied Agama Lizard. He went into the exam, they brought crocodile. And then he took the paper and said, if Agama Lizard, more paper. So everything he studied, which had to do with Agama Lizard, he produced it as what? Agama Lizard, representing crocodile. And that is exactly my brother what? is doing. They are, they are all amphibious, Johnny. aren't they? <laughs> Johnny. You, well, see, you want to whether, come, whether, come whether, 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 whether you like it or not, okay, well. I will continue to tell you that we are focused and we will continue to deliver focused. on what we're doing. You can call us names. You can call Ghanaians names. Tell mm -hmm. them, tell Ghanaians you're not a bunch of idiots. Okay. Anywhere you let's let's are. move on. We, we are, you, are, you guys are not saying nothing sure new. We'll let's move on. Page two, two of, of the final newspaper says course, that um, course, not, I am seeing 58 no. one <laughs> district, one factory is uh, uh, operational. A total of 58 uh, one district, one factory companies are currently in operation. 10,983 direct jobs as at the end of September 2019. The 58 1D1F companies in operation have created uh, 10,983 of these direct jobs. Also, 43,900 indirect jobs have been created and also a total of 54,883 direct and indirect jobs. The finance minister had explained this in the budget statement and the indirect jobs also stated in there. In the, he says that, well, for example, there's been free technical training for some of these uh, factories. There's also direct implementation of support teams. Parliament has approved the tax incentives for them and the list of tax incentives that they are getting, will, for example, be a five-year corporate tax holiday for 1D1 F factories. They also get exemption from import duties, taxes and levies of equipment, um, <coughs> machinery and parts, and exemptions for payment of duties and levies on raw materials. But uh, this is good news, is it not? Uh, Once again, another lie. How? This, this was presented in Parliament. It and, couldn't and, have been and, a lie. And, and I urge... Oh, but the minister came to parliament and lied. I mean, he has been lying. That's and I will give you evidence. He's the only person who hasn't lied. Oh well, if he's the only one, the only can person. I, can I, can I, I, allow him. Allow him. Please note your reservations <laughs> so that so that we can he's share it. The, the, way, the way Kamal is behaving, if I don't distance myself, you even hit me. <laughs> it is. It is fifty-two. I give you three minutes. <laughs> the only person who don't lie in this country. Listen, listen. Look, in this country, the NPP made a promise they were going to undertake. They were going to put up, you know, district. Sorry, factories. Factories. Yeah. You remember the president made that promise, then candidate Nanado, when we commissioned the Comenda Sugar Factory, their manifesto and the promises they made were that they were putting up factories in this country. Mm -hmm. Every district was going to get a factory. You see? I remember the, 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 the chart, the map with the chart. Yes, that's what he said. That's what he said. I, 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 saw, I saw a Ghana map with a chart showing where what resources are and what factories the kind of factory come that out. was going I to. remember in Adaklu, for example, they spoke about the fact that they had clay, yeah. so there would be pottery. Yeah, factory, yeah, that's yeah, it was there. That, see, that was a boom boom. Journey, journey. But that's a fact. I'm yeah, not yeah, sure. No, no, you remember that. Good. Once again, good. you see, every single topic we're going to dis discuss, Ghanaians would know why I said they think we're a bunch of idiots. But we are why, why do you keep repeating that? Like, is what, you have said it already. That is what they think. That is what they think. You made a promise in on campaign trail. You made a promise in your manifesto. The 2017 financial statement, which was presented by this super incompetent and super corrupt government, they indicated that they had identified the district that they were going to have this project, these factories executed. They had a budget line under the Ministry of Trade, mm. and that they had identified about 104 factories mm. in about 90 something districts, and that each factory was going to cost the government 2 million Ghana cities. Mm. People even wondered. You know how much they had the total amount of money for one district, one factory? It was 40 million. When we questioned, mm. when we questioned the retreater, you know what they said? We never said we're going to provide factories. Mm. We're going to create the enabling environment for private sector to strive. That is the responsibility of every government. Even a government in Kosomokaya mm. would know that you create the enabling environment for factories to strive. Unfortunately, you are not even creating the enabling environment. You are destroying and attacking the environment for which factories will strive. You are and not, you know you are not, you are not they happy have with the no five-year five corporate tax there holiday. No, oh, and I tell you what they do. Mm. You see, this same government certainly would not be meeting their revenue targets. Why? They have no single factory to show. Not one. 
what they claim they are doing, that is the responsibility of every government. And in any case, what the NDC even did, we didn't only create an enabling environment. We provided direct financial assistance to selected pharmaceutical companies. That was what we did. Now, they have already established industries or firms. Then they tell you that come and benefit per what was presented by this incompetent minister for finance yesterday. That they give them tax holidays. Mm. They give them, they give them uh, uh, duty free. Exemption on, from on imports. Important. You know why? Taxes, levies, A lot equipment. of companies are now taking advantage of that. And that is the reason why the state is not making the needed revenue. And I know a lot of companies who are taking advantage of it, they bring in their goods, they are not employing even a single person because this government wants to satisfy their greedy, unfulfilled, uh, you know, you know, uh, 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 needless promise they made. They want to satisfy that. It's just about the ego the, of the, the president. There should, there, should be, now, the, there should be space for foreign direct Johnny, investment. Johnny, That's what I'm the government saying is that, No, Johnny, existing factories, all the so-called factories they claim, these are private individuals. Some of them have existed for 10 years, 20 years. They go there, they tell you that take advantage of the space we have created. So now you are no longer going to be paying import duties. When you bring in, <laughs> meanwhile, those factories are not even employing. So the revenue that the state otherwise would but have which been generating. doesn't employ? I'm saying that the revenue that the, other, the, 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 the state would have been generated mm. if these people were to continue paying the needed taxes, and surprisingly and strangely, most of these companies are not domestic. They are not Ghanaian owned. They are foreign. But don't owned we companies. already do it by the GIPC so, Act? Already the GIPC Act. That's why I'm saying that creating the enabling environment is the responsibility of every government. So, every successive government have done so, that. So they are only so enforcing what's in absolutely. the law. Absolutely. Tell me. Tell him to but, tell but us. But that is that tell is, me, that is good. On, tell him to tell. Oh, I'm saying that is what every government does. So how can you tell me that this government, Kufo did it, President Rawlings did it. President Muhammad did it. Yeah. Nanado is doing it and say, let's clap for him. They promised they were going to have factories. Commend the sugar factory. Okay. With the right. NDC did that. Okay. They have allowed the factory to rot. When you say they go and talk about the, the pineapple, the fire, the fire, the fire. let me tell them, even the Johnny, pineapple team. You don't believe that one. Johnny, too. you know no, what no, we call Sedicum? You no, know what no, we call no. Sedicum? Mm. Every single thing that happened there was done by Sedicum, which was instituted by the NDC. Okay. And Thank I can you. tell you that Thank the you. private entity, Come on. this is a palpable Come lie, Come on. not a single Come factory. On. Come on. And you know how much they have Come a budget line? Come. 50 million. Come that will take care of 59 factories. Come on. And they said they are already Mut operational. Mutala that is, is a lie. It's doubtful that not is you doubtful. have been able I'm to... I'm saying that it's a lie. Uh, please allow me to do my work. Doubtful is an understatement. It's doubtful. You won't choose my words for me. Okay, fine. It's doubtful that... You have not been able to put up 58 not one factories like the it's finance it's minister said. I said not even one factories yet. So mm. now just, all, justify the finance minister's all, claim. First of all, shouting on rooftop I, does please. not make you communicate. Allow him. That's allow no, him. I'm not saying that. I'm mean, not shouting. No, no, no. I'm you saying he should allow. No, first of all, shouting. He must find the best communication. He must find the best communication. Please allow him. Allow him. Allow him. You're not lying. Allow Kamal to make his point. Thank you. Page ten of the manifesto of the new patriotic party. Mm. And this segment is titled One District, Wood, One Fact. Listen to me, please. please. Man, I want to know. Allow him. No, sir, I said I am saying 2016, right? Oh, 2016. 2016, page 2016, 10. Page of the 10. new patriotic right. party's manifesto, page 10. Okay. And of course, the segment is titled One District, One Factory Initiative. Mm. And I read, <laughs> in collaboration with the private sector, yeah. the MPP will implement the One District, One Factory Initiative. Okay. This district industrialization program will ensure an even, special spread of industries. It puts to rest <laughs> the fact that someone comes out to lie. Ah. Look at Ghanaians and say, what, MPP said we're coming to build factories. Uh -huh. No. <laughs> I read it. Now let's move on. What have you he read? says one. Private let's sector move on. participation. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. He says one. He said not even mm. one factory. Yeah. I will not take him somewhere because we don't have much time. Let's go to Ejumako now. Okay. When we went to Ejumako, <laughs> identified the private sector person, collaborated with the person as we promised, and said, "Look, we need a factory to process pineapple." Right. They went out there with pictures. In fact, now who is their deputy national organizer, Chief Biden? Mm. Who is from there? That place. Came out with pictures. Come and see. There's nothing. The land is bare. I remember that one too. You remember that one too? Mm. Very good. Today, go to Ejumako and see. The factory, as I speak to you, has actually been put on test run. 
and they have moved on belt. He yeah. says we never even have one. You I'm only know. proving him wrong. You and I want Ghanaians to know that look, we are serious people. You and don't governance have. is serious lie. business. Governance is not for jokes. <laughs> governance is not for you to come and shout. No. He says, governance is for he you. He says you are painting. He says you are deliver. painting people's factories. Oh, why? Well, this is from scratch. I said you said you remember the right. land, the bear land. Now there's a bear land from a bear land. There's a factory city. And let's give you one example. I don't want it to go off. Is it owned by a state? Allow him. Allow him. Allow him. I've, oh, I've, I've, I've told you what the only don't want to understand what the manifesto said. It doesn't anyway. make sense. You see, you see, you see, you see, you see. In 2008, his own flag bearer now, mm. who thinks that they had infrastructure, <laughs> they have built hospitals, they whatever. He came to tell the whole world that it is an exercise in mediocrity if you say you have built schools and you have built roads and you've considered roads and so therefore you should be voted for. Don't demand him, Muhammad. If there's a logic. Today, you are telling me you have built war hospital, you have built whatever. Uh -huh. You are exercising, but or you, you are you doubling. Prom you promise to do, to do better. Are you doubling? In Come the on, you promise to do better. We are doing better. <laughs> what are better than them. What have you? He just said I cannot cite one factory. I've just given him. That one. is not true. That tells you he's lying. That tells you he's lying. On this see, program. Where, like where, said, where are the like other said, factories? Where like are some said. of the fifty-eight? Why? Where are the some of the fifty-eight mm, factories? Yeah. Johnny, where are they? Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. Even that one. Remember when that one even come to the show? Remember before we come to the show. You don't call us to tell us, Kamal, when you come, we're going to discuss X, Y, Z. I'm okay. not sure you do that. Okay. But at least you expect that at least issues that comes out. Because sometimes we all... Because so of, you're saying you don't know where the factories me, are? Minute, because of versatility, we all try to tax... So you don't know where the factories are? But if you go into detail and tell me, give me a list... Obviously, one D one secretariat is there. Obviously, uh, trade, and industry, for trade and industry minister is there, and you are a journalist. Mm. You want to prove uh, the budget wrong. You want to prove the finance minister wrong. If you want that, and, or he I'm wants asking that, you, you do you know where the factories there, are? Then you find out and then do a diligent job. Do, do you say, know where the factories are? As a journalist, are. I have been here. I've been there, and I've not been able to get this fact. And there we can. But if you it. show me, but if you ask me, but, but come on, go, come on. the list fifty one, just off head. Come of course, they don't. They Come on, I'm not saying you should leave fifty one. I'm saying that you are just. You have just told me that one is not even true. No, no, no. The man even said there's no one. And I'm giving him one. Come on, come on. Come on. I, 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 like, I like the fact that yeah, I like the fact that I like the fact that each time we would ask a politician a question, say, "Oh, but you are a journalist." Yeah, you are no, no, no. You are a politician. It's okay. So I'm saying that I'm saying that you have told me that you have 58 factories up and running. 59. That's all now I am saying to you that there's an official these document. 58 yeah, factories. There's an official document. Do we have locations? Then, <laughs> then, 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 if you tell me the factory is at Kanda at the south, uh, I will take my camera and go there and Johnny, go and fish out. Like we're going to Ajumaku. The man said. One, that is not I true. Can that one he mentioned. And I gave you one, Johnny. and you corroborated Johnny. the point. No, that, and said, no. look, you even he, know he, he okay. hasn't corroborated Now, I think corroborated this point. Let's check out some of your messages. Johnny. And say that Johnny. you don't yeah. have to lie like that. I said okay, that it's all right. creating the enabling oh, environment. Let's check out some of your messages. You see, I said creating the enabling environment for factory to start. Everybody does that. We are not going to put you to the exercise. The sugar factory. We will double it. This was something that was initiated by the state. One at a time. We can't hear you. Nobody can hear you. Of course, but he should... Well, it's my time, it's not his time. Oh, I am on the floor. I beg you, you gave me the talk. time. I beg you, let me talk to so, I'm so, saying that, Johnny, Johnny, you got it. Johnny, the Commander Sugar Factory was something look, the, the NDC started look, please, please, please. and completed. Johnny, 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 it was Johnny, funded by the Johnny, state. Okay. The and Commander the NDP said they were going to do the same. Just I just before told you, we went into the state. Even this is about one at a time. Johnny, you should disappear. No, 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 wait, 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 I beg. Of course. Please, come out, come out, come out, come out, I'm asking you, you because you said that as general we should do our uh -huh, investigation. So, I'm yeah. saying that if you point me to the location, then I can go and do my fact checking. I can't be, I, just, I can't pick a company worry, vehicle worry. and camera and start roaming down and say I'm it, looking for it, one factory. I'll be, I'll be very unless they, you. unless they have been labeled as one D one F yeah. factories. I don't know, but maybe you can help um, me. Uh, that's what I'm saying. That this is, Johnny, there is a secretariat. There is a secretariat of course. Government in charge of deputy communication we have a ministry in charge of this work a budget statement which is just not a paper that we have picked on the street to discuss is an official document before parliament mm -hmm. which is going to be debated by members of parliament he's seeking to go back to parliament I, he was in there when I, he was I, allow me now, listen listen please please the document is there and i'm saying the journey we have so many areas 
available but, but you are deputy a deputy national and communications and director added, added, this 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 is key on your agenda to your studio this is and you key. tell me list 50 oh, come on come on come on let's be fair come on 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 i work there said there was no one come on work here to be three yes yes if you ask me to list where my regional offices are i will tell you so when i'm a government if you if you every single minute no i am not saying no 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 come on i think every agency i think that one i think that i think that you are getting i think that you are getting me wrong uh -huh. but for a concept of one district one factory uh -huh. that is paramount to your party's you bid for 2016 paramount, paramount, paramount for your government and even for use for 2020 yes. campaign yes. you should have at least five locations off your head where you can point oh, so me you and say you're not satisfied with the one the man that, that one is not, not true if you want that one is not even one. true and you mentioned that's one the point which you make. yourself could have been that one you're not satisfied Johnny, Johnny. I should add five Johnny. so that you'll be satisfied Johnny. Johnny. so there's only and one continue. don't Johnny. worry I'll give okay. you more okay. so allow me to make your view public understand that that one is not even true I'm saying that I just told you Johnny Johnny I just told you that allow him to give me the five then you can go allow me what is this man doing is he allow me I thought you said we're going to give me the five he sits here why I'm giving why if you want the list you can get the list don't worry I'll get the list Come on, but you don't I'll have the list. list later. I'll get the list later. Johnny, I but just listen, told you Johnny, on this Johnny, program. Johnny, the man oh. talks about some some sugar. I just told you on this program yeah. that the NDC this, gave this, direct this, financial this, assistance. Allow me, I think I've some time. The man, the man, I just told you on this program. <laughs> Johnny. The NDC <laughs> gave direct financial assistance Johnny. to selected yeah. from the companies. NDC never went to town and oh. said that they set up those factories. Okay, yeah, thank you. Crystal is back. Let's hear Crystal. Crystal has uh, messages. We have a number of okay. Even your own Let me send all that. Even your factory. Your, mic your microphones are off. <laughs> Crystal, <laughs> yours okay. is on. We are setting up one. So it says, good morning, Johnny. <laughs> yeah. Without receiving the full complement of ambulances ordered, ordered aligned with fact ceremonial budgets to outdoor its... Trust me, it won't save lives. This is how retarded and insensitive officials in government and others can be. An army of angry youth are watching and soon we shall put our leaders to think beyond their selfish and um, parochial uh, interests. I'm sad to be a Ghanaian. Any, anyone who loses his or her relative should deposit the body at the Jubilee House for same celebration. Thank you. Johnny, you see how these incompetent Nana Ado government is? Gradually killing the good people of this country. And I don't even if I eat a hundred CD bags of salt, you will definitely go out of power come 2020. Sorry. Good morning, I'm my neighbor. Time. Ambulances to be distributed in January 2020. Just a suburb of K and UST people have accidents, have had accidents, and vehicle kept oh, passing till the police that. picked um, pickup came to convey them in the in the bucket. Is the minister and presidency saying idiom idiomatically that we should wait until January when the most lives, when most lives um, that could have been saved by paramedics are lost before they distribute it conveniently in the election year? In fact, the presidency is only refusing to share because they are afraid Ghanaians will not remember that in 2019 election year if it is shared now. That's from JB in KNUSD. K Johnny, please, good morning. Hmm. When we talk about the insensitivity of this government, people think we are being political, but it, is, but it is their nature. You remember they said they were doing due diligence on the Legon Medical Center put up by His Excellency the Visionary J, um, JM, but could, do, could not do same due diligence when it comes to the famous PDS. God save us from the wicked hands. Hashtag NPP never again. Ali Kuwate from BBNE says. Good morning, TV3. The NPP government under Nanado doesn't have sympathy for the people who have been dying in taxis and tricycles. People are dying and they are seriously losing for uh, political gains. The ambulances are for the state, not for the NPP. They should share them. It's, um, it's not, it is not for decoration. Mr. President, kindly distribute the ambulance now. The ambulances now, uh, it's our taxpayers' money. If you think you can distribute them in election year for political gain or vote, please forget it. Ghanaians are dying and will punish NPP for any lives lost. Uh, Ian McWills from Adensa Powerland says, Good morning, TV3. How, can, how come ambulances have been parked at, uh, for decoration while citizens are suffering and dying just because they don't have access to such vehicles? Hmm. Only God can tell the real secret behind this 2020 is just at the corner. Where did we go wrong? How come ambulances that are used to save lives have been packed and innocent souls are dying? Oh my God. Hmm. From King Kaka at Takwa. My regards to Honorable Minister Akando. Good morning, Johnny. Please, if you are the minister, which constituencies will you have sent these ambulances to first? 
from Pajo of Big Joe Shoes near Quad, uh, Quadraso Onion Market. Kudos to President Akufuado's government for putting 12.2 billion in Ghanaian billion in Ghanaian's pockets. And thanks to Finance Minister Ken Oforiata for giving us a growth budget to roll out. You want an emergency to occur before you will release the ambulance. Hmm, Ghana Pan, no wonder they are waiting for 2020 so that they can be used, they can use it for cheap politics. This family and friends government. I confuse I'm it's confused Nanayao um, Chum from Tetrim. Is the Minister for Health saying they don't want they don't know where to send the ambulances? Don't they have the data on health centers, hospitals, etc. that don't have ambulances? The minister should come again. Square pegs in round holes. Good morning. That's from Niai in Abofu. Um, Ali Abdul Rahman at Asawa Sekumasi says, Good morning, Johnny. Good morning, Ghana. Johnny, I can't thank you enough for speaking on behalf of the voiceless. You really made my day. Indeed, TB3 is the best. Please, please tell them to come distribute the ambulances because we are badly in need of it. Good morning, TV3. The minority NDC don't have the moral right to criticize the government with regards to the ambulance matter. How many ambulances have they procured in their eight years in government? After three days ultimatum, what can they do? That's from Abdul um, Baki in Tamale. Joseph from Navrongo says, the minister can't tell us he doesn't know where to start in terms of this distribution. He's simply not serious with his ministry and data collection. Good morning, Johnny. You see, this, these are leaders. They don't care about us. They have the money to send their immediate family members to abroad for medical care, but those who vote for them to occupy those positions are nothing to them. They should continue. We are waiting for them to come and tell the lies in quest to win power again. Hashtag no social contracts, no votes. That's from Lordson in La Paz. And our last comment for the morning. Good morning, Johnny. Waiting for a ceremony to be held before distributing ambulance to the various centers. Oh, Lord have mercy on us. What kind of country are we living in? I don't think if the Minister for Health or special initiatives finds any of their family members in serious situations where the ambulance could save their lives, would, have, would they have come out with those words? Please let the voice of the citizens be heard. Hashtag, uh, that's from Desmond from Chocolate. Thank you very much indeed. And uh, somebody, Eteska, Eteska is asking, uh, if I were the Minister for Health, where would I be taking the ambulance as well? For, for every country that has an emergency response system that actually works, you would have data telling you which hospital needs what and, and at what time. So if I were the Minister for Health, based on my small training that I had from my school cadet back in secondary school about emergency response, working as a cadet in Red Cross, I would know that uh, hospital A or B in district C or D need this ambulance immediately. Because the truth is that we have 51 ambulances, okay, as the last count, maybe 52, 53. But we also know that some of them have broken down up until now. So those places would have come to the attention of the Health Ministry of Ghana Health Service. And that information is available on paper because every week there's a weekly report, every month there's a monthly report, and at the end of every quarter there's a report. And at the end of the year, or sometimes uh, uh, biannually, there's, there's a report. So we cannot say that if we give it, we give one to this district, we give the other to this district, uh, we will be causing a stampede. I, I find it difficult to agree with that logic. And it's based on the fact that in the matter of free SHS, in the matter of the basic school new curriculum, we moved ahead to initiate it because we said we cannot wait. So in the matter of health, they said we should why die. do we wait? We should die. That's my that's been my question. And, uh, and this was I didn't want to do a back and forth with the minister yesterday mm -hmm. because it was an event that I was emceeing and I didn't want to look as if I was being cocky there. But that's the fact. Look, if I had my own way as a minister of health, the ambulances won't be sitting there because they are registered. And I even thought at the point that they were not registered. They are registered, they have green plates. Yeah. and they are available they are to be used. To for they are good quality. <laughs> and I salute, I salute the government for bringing good quality ambulances. They are Mercedes-Benz ambulances. They are not cheap. They are good quality. So why are they sitting there? The one, because if they sit there happens. for three, four, one five one months, one they will start rusting. It's in, said, at the mercy of the weather. Of it's at, at the mercy of the weather. It's under the rain. It's under the sun. It's in the mm. open it will start and rusting and then we'll come back. Yes. Remember that the local government service office at Medina had some uh, Nissan Patrol or Pajero that were parked there, over 200 of those vehicles. We paid judgment debt for it and it was there, previous governments. So we, 
we need to we need to know. Uh, yeah. but, but thank you very much Johnny, for your time. Uh, Johnny, Kamal Johnny, Dean of the Lines, Johnny, the National Communication Johnny, Director, Johnny, Johnny, Deputy Johnny, of the NPP, and you also Mutala uh, uh, Mohammed is a comrade and is aspiring to go to Parliament on the ticket of the people of Tamale Central constituency. Is a Deputy Minister for Trade and Industry at 9 a.m. this morning on 3 FM 92.7. Please allow me to make this quick announcement. We are talking about what a yes or no vote means in the forthcoming referendum on 3FM 92.7 Community oh, Connect. What does a yes vote mean? What does a no vote mean? 9am, make a date with me. Vote.